we can calculate standard cell potentials in the standard state. So if I have copper ions at one molar concentration and zinc ions at one molar concentration and pure zinc and pure copper metals, I can calculate the cell potential for that in the standard state from a table of standard reduction potentials. So as long as all my concentrations are one molar and all my pressures are one atmosphere or one bar, I can use tables to calculate standard cell potentials. But what if I'm not in the standard state? Well, I can still calculate cell potentials, just as we did for free energy. The free energy is related to the cell potential by this equation. Standard state free energy is minus n, the number of electrons, times Faraday's constant, times the standard cell potential. But the standard state free energy difference is related to the equilibrium constant. So that means the standard cell potential must also be related to the equilibrium constant. And I can do a simple substitution here and show that ln k, the equilibrium constant, is equal to nf standard cell potential over rt. And this is really one of the strengths of electrochemistry, where I can measure with a voltmeter a potential and get directly an equilibrium constant. Now, I can also relate non-standard state free energy to the standard state free energy based on the position of the chemical reaction, the reaction quotient Q. And since delta G and delta E are related, I can write an equation for the standard cell potential and how that relates to the non-standard potential by the position of the equilibrium. So for this example, where we have copper ions, I could write that the potential is the standard cell potential plus a term that corrects for the non-standard conditions. So if I have concentrations other than one molar zinc and one molar copper, I can still calculate a potential. And of course, if the concentrations are one molar, I'm in the standard state, then this term is one, natural log of one is zero, and I find that the potential is the standard potential. So I can use techniques similar to the ones that I applied to free energy to calculate non-standard voltages. And those non-standard voltages can be calculated by what we call the Nernst equation. The non-standard voltage is the standard voltage minus RT over NF, natural log of Q, the position of the equilibrium.